Hello everyone and welcome to our quick swap bridging tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to bridge your tokens from the Ethereum chain over to the Polygon chain. Please keep in mind this is necessary if you want to participate in our upcoming IDOs. If you currently have tokens on the Binance Smart Chain, you do not have to do anything. Once we provide a bridging solution for the Binance Smart Chain, you will be required to bridge your tokens to the Polygon chain. For now, it is sufficient if you just fill in the whitelist that we have provided. You will be able to find a link to this whitelist in the description down below. Now let's get into the actual bridging part. The first thing you will have to do is add both the Ethereum Quick Token and the Polygon Quick Token to your wallet. For this tutorial we will be using MetaMask. You can do this by opening MetaMask, clicking on Add Token, make sure that you are on the Ethereum or the Matic mainnet before doing this, clicking on Add Token, clicking on Custom Token, and right here you will be required to fill in the quick contract address. We will be providing the contract address for both the Ethereum token and the Polygon token in the description down below. Make sure that you add the right contract address to the right chain. Once you've done that, it will automatically fill in quick and the token decimal. If you see this, you can click on next and at that point the token will be added to your wallet as a custom token. Once you've eliminated this preliminary step, we will continue with the bridging part. To do that, please go to our website quickstarter.org and click on Ethereum Bridge. Here you will be greeted by this screen. If you are using MetaMask, it is sufficient to click on MetaMask. If you are using other wallets that support multiple chains, you will have to use the Wallet Connect button. Now for MetaMask, click on MetaMask. It will open a little box. And in this box you will have to click on the sign button to give the website access to your MetaMask wallet. So click on sign. Once you've clicked on sign, you will be greeted by this screen, which is the bridge to the Polygon network. You will have to click on this button right here and it will automatically show you some tokens that are available to bridge. Obviously you want to bridge your quick swap tokens, so click on quick swap. If this list is empty for you, please give it some time to load. This happens. Click on quick swap. In this case, I will be bridging all my tokens. You can do that by clicking on the max button, but you're also able to bridge half your tokens if you would like that. For now, let's just bridge the maximum amount. Once you've filled in this field, please click on transfer. It will tell you that it's gonna take 7 to 8 minutes to bridge your tokens, but experience has taught us that this might be longer or shorter. Please allow up to 20 minutes minimum. You will also be able to follow your transaction by clicking on this bell at the top right, which will show you the more details. For now, click on continue. It's going to give you an estimate of how much gas you are required to pay. Usually this estimate is more than the actual amount that you'll be required to pay. Click on continue and then once, one very last time please click on continue. Right here you will be required to approve the transaction. So click on continue. It will open MetaMask and ask you to approve the transaction. Click on confirm. Give it some time as you will see this little circle pop up. Once you've done that and this circle is done loading, it will ask you to confirm the transaction. This might take a minute or two, but usually this part is really quick. So I'm just going to sit here and give it some time. As you can see, the bell has already updated saying that there's a transaction in progress, but you will once again still have to confirm your transaction. So let's give it some time.
as you can see it has confirmed the transaction so in this case all you'll have to do is wait seven to eight minutes and your transaction will be completed it does say seven to eight minutes but there are times it will take longer for example 15 to 20 minutes and there will be times that it won't be that long three to four minutes either way don't be alarmed this is a good sign and your transaction is being processed as you can see right now this was automatically confirmed for me as I as at the beginning it showed that there will only be one transaction however if in the beginning it, it says that you will both have to approve and confirm the transaction then you will have to manually confirm it once you get to this screen everything is good and if you give it enough time once you click on Matic Network, you should be able to see your tokens. That will be the end of this tutorial. If there are any questions left, we will gladly take them in our Telegram channel, which we will also provide the description for. The link to in the description down below. Thank you and have a great day.